Hey royalty, hey empress, hey empress, hey, how are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light. Please, ooh, please come down and protect me. Okay, now it's, they dropping too many now. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Gemini, you could be getting ready to move. You could be getting ready to move, but there could be movement that's happening around you. Okay, either you're about to move. Okay, yeah, there's there's moving here. There's so much moving here. So much movement here. Like, literally, Gemini. Literally, either you're moving or you're moving on from something or you're releasing something. It's like you're, you're moving forward. And this is you overcoming something that really could have, like, affected you deeply. Yeah, so that love could come in. Love is coming in. And it has to do with your third eye chakra. It has to do with you seeing the truth of situations as well. And the truth of people. The number 17 could be significant. The number 71, 30, um, 78, 87 could be significant. January, July, or August could be significant. Someone could be born on the 1st, the 7th, or the 8th. The 17th. The 18th, 81 could be significant, 71, any of these numbers could be significant to you, but you're getting ready to move. This could also be someone like they're feeling their emotions so heavily and it's making them move towards you. So if you're in separation with someone either, so this person could be coming back towards you or like when you move on and you move forward, even if you like, if this is for someone that is moving, like if you're moving, you could be meeting someone when you move. It's two hearts here. So two hearts are coming together, but it could be in different areas. Green. Greenery could be significant. Grass could be significant. Water. Most definitely water could be significant. You could be going to the beach, traveling, taking a vacation. You're getting by water. The love is meant to come in towards you at this time, Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know about what's coming in? What else does Gemini need to know? Gemini, you have here, there's a shift. This is a message. Literally, there's a shift that's happening for you. So there's a shift. You could have said, okay, enough is enough. I don't want to, I don't want to continue down with this path. I don't want to continue now with this person. I don't want to continue with this job. I want there to be a change in my life. I want something to, to, to change. I want there to be movement. And Father God heard you loud and clear. And it's like, okay, cool. You want movement, you're going to have to go down this path. It's going to take this, this, and this. And you're like, cool. You could be walking down that path right now. And it's not easy choosing what God wants for us. Like, a lot of people be like, oh, my God, that's so it's easy. Oh, it, it's not easy. It's not easy choosing what God wants. Not all the time. Sometimes it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Sometimes it's difficult. It's difficult. And you feel pressure, not only from the heavenly realm, from God, but people around you too. There's a shift that's coming in. The number nine could be significant, 33, <clears throat> June, the number six, and September. Someone could be born on the sixth or on the ninth, 69, 96 could be significant. There's a shift that's coming in. So there's getting ready to be a major turn of events that takes place in your life. Yeah, look at this. And it has to do with you coming into union with your soulmate can't make it up like y'all always have the love readings gemini i absolutely love doing y'all readings because like i said it just feels like cuddle bear teddy bear energy every time i tap into y'all readings it's just like it's a warm hug in the spirit like i don't know what it is. <laughs> it feels so good okay it feels so good to like do y'all readings it does like i can't say that for every sign you know it's my purpose it's my mission so i do it but some signs be more cold and harsh. Yeah, with 444 on the timer, as I said, the spirit be protective, but I love your energy. You're very lucky. And it's because you went into you went to do the shadow work, which caused an ending into your life. You went within, which is very difficult to do. The number 43 could be significant, 36, 47. 
Seven could be significant. Nine could be significant. Eleven. There's a shift because you wanted the shift to happen. You wanted better for yourself, Gemini. And it's like, once you tell the universe you want better, once you, once you tell God you want better, like, God, the universe starts working for you. While the guys are putting into motion things that will align you to what you want, literally, and I could attest to that. Like, I'm dead serious. Father God will, like, say, okay, cool. Let's do this. Let's do this. You're going to have to change this up or sacrifice this, give this up. But it's all for the betterment of you, and it's all for the betterment of your highest good, and it's, it's to get what you want, literally. The Five of Pentacles is here. So there could be an earth sign that's in your energy right now, or there could be someone that's going through homelessness, job loss. They could be feeling left out in the cold from you. This could have been someone that you helped take care of. You could have gave money to this person. You could have helped this person. They could be also looking for a payout right now because they need it. This also could have been someone that was on the up and up, that was sharing their energy with everybody, money, time, and attention, love, affection, all that, and now they're in a state of hardship. This person could also be coming towards you because they feel like you, you, can, you have the resources to help them. The moon. This could be a cancer even. This person's not going to tell you everything about what happened to them or what's going on with them in their life. They're not. Someone is not. Someone's going to keep things to themselves. Yeah, you know, the world is here. So there's a completion here. Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius energy is here with the world. You have wrapped something out. You wrapped up a cycle within your life and now there's a new beginning that's coming in, a new start. And it has to do with you closing out the right chapters, the right cycles and learning the lessons. The world is about personal achievement, personal completion. It's like you literally say, telling the Father God, I'm ready for this new chapter. And this new chapter has a lot to do with your wealth, your stability, your security, big business, big institutions, level up, power moves, being in an affluent area, being an affluent person, being someone that is of a... Uh, Oh, that lives a wealthy life, that lives a very blessed and highly favored life. With the Ten of Pentacles, Earth energy is here again. It could be something about big business or heavyweight. Y'all could be like really handling a lot of money at this time, or you're going to be coming into a lot of money and inheritance. This is family wealth. This is generational wealth that you're creating for yourself. It pops out. <laughs> ah! It's going to come in out of nowhere for someone here. It pops out. It pops out. So money, wealth is all over you. It's like, it's by the God is saying it's going to come in and it even could come in very rapidly or like very unexpectedly. And it's going to shake someone. It's going to make people jealous. The nine of wands is here. You're going to have people that are jealous of your instant success or money or wealth or whatever this is. This could be a move, a car, a marriage, a stability, something that's just working out for you. There could be unexpected money coming in. This could be an investment. You could have put money into something and it's growing. You could have started up a business and it's taking off. You could be at this level in a tax bracket and Father God is about to level you up to a whole nother tax bracket. It's something like that. Why is And it's going to bring you happiness. Like I don't pick up on negative energy from this tower. What's the tower about? I pick up on negative energy. Right. The, the, the sun. I don't. The sun. So Father God is also going to show you how, yeah, it's going to be a shock to you, but it's already going to be a confirmation for things you already know. When you get these blessings, people are going to try to make you lose it. It could be a Leo or an Earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Leo that could be wanting you to lose out on this money, on this blessing, on this new opportunity because they don't have anything. And it's going to be like confirmation for you. This person is going to be very shady very hateful what's the nine of wands somebody's going to show that they are not to be trusted that they're not a real friend that they're not supportive it's, it could even be heartbreaking to you once you realize that you, like this is someone that's being utilized by down below somebody's very jealous very envious very codependent very needy this could be a fire sign even a capricorn somebody here is not going to be happy for you at all why is the ace of pentacles in the reverse And they feel like they lost out on their cash cow because you laid something to rest and you decided to heal. Yeah, something is over. So somebody here is very upset and heartbroken because they felt like they were going to have this up and up in regards to their money by being connected to you or that you were going to put them in the per Yeah, this could be a water sign. 
or your intuition told you to really ground your emotions and hold back. You lay the situation to rest and things came to an end and that's why it was a bad investment or that's why somebody feels like they're not going to get the money that they thought was going to come in, a blessing, a gift, a reward. Yeah, you're being protected. Temperance Angel is here. You have nothing but protection around you. Angelic protection. This is Archangel Michael saying you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to fear. You are covered. There's also someone that's coming towards you with some type of apology. What's the sun about? Yeah, God is telling you it's time to move forward. The Six of Swords. You have smooth sailing moving forward, Gemini. The King of Wands. Somebody wants to come in. This could be a fire sign. This person is very shady. And they could be trying to act like they want to like offer you love or take you out or date you. This could be like someone new. Or this could be someone very attractive. They could be like a player. Very in and out. This could be someone that's a, they could be a leader or a visionary. They could have a lot of people that want them. And this person wants to play dirty in different ways. They want to come towards you with the Knight of Cups. I'm seeing here. They want to like take you out or ask you out, but they feel like you're going to reject them. What's the King of Wands about? You got to clarify the King of Wands because sometimes he be good and sometimes he be bad. Yeah, the Seven of Cups. He's coming in with illusions. Yeah. This could be a Leo that's insecure. The strength card in the reverse. Insecure. This is someone that's very weak-minded, very weak-spirited, non-committal. They, they're very weak. They give to any and everything. This is someone that doesn't have any self-control, self-discipline, any type of backbone. And this could be someone that could be wanting to act like they want to show you love, and it could be because of the money that you have, the level up that you're in at this time with the Queen of Pentacles. Since you walked away, your money has came up. So if you've noticed that too, that's going to be your inclination. So I have a lot of people saying, well, Mecca, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Well, I can't tell you what to do because I'm not. <laughs> I'm a messenger. Uh, but And you have free will. But what I can say is look at your life, you know, and if you have moved away from a particular person, situation, event, environment, whatever, and your money, your wealth, your health looks better. Like say you lost a lot of weight and you get away from someone and you start, you look healthier, you start gaining your weight back. Or say you, your money was dwindling or your money was sporadic. It would come in, sometimes it wouldn't, or it would be like, it would fluctuate. And when you moved away from someone, your money started like balancing out. So it's kind of like, look at your life. Look at your life. Look at what like is happening. Look what God is doing in your life. And also look at, is there any changes since someone has been around or since they haven't been around? But what I most definitely see is since you walked away from a situation, you have been getting everything that you want. The eight of cups straight to the nine of cups. You've been getting everything that you want. So if you're thinking about going back to someone, be mindful. This person is very insecure. They have low self-esteem. They're not courageous. They're not brave. They won't stand up for you. This is someone that is just determined to literally come in and tell you what you want to hear to put you in your head. Because they're in their head. This is how it, this is how it looks, y'all. This person wants to... They're determined to come towards you, acting like it's going to be love, but they're coming in with all these secrets, and it's literally to mentally entrap you. They also want to see, like, if they could get you back into some, type, into, into some type of, like, relationship with the four of wands. Yeah, it's a choice. You have a destined relationship that's coming in, but you have a choice whether or not you want to connect with this person, because I do see here there's love here. But you know that this person will delay you or stagnate you. From your instant success, from not instant success, but from success, from a level up, from expansion, from growing, from healing, from a renewal with your faith. So it's a choice. Right now, it's all about weighing out your options with the seven of pentacles, making a plan because karma is around. It was karmic justice literally for something to come to an end. I'm seeing here because somebody was doing things like that they shouldn't have been doing in secret and they were keeping it a secret from you. This also could have been someone given to like a fire sign, someone that they were in like a relationship with that they were hooking up with. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody wants you to put in the work so that they can keep things to themselves. 
and I saw the Queen of Wands. So somebody here, I don't even mean to say this, Gemini, but whoever you with, they looking at somebody else like that's their person because the Queen of Wands is in the deck and the King of Wands is out, but you're the Queen of Pentacles. What's the Queen of Pentacles? Somebody, this person, yeah, it's time to move on. It's time to move forward. There's and heal because it's somebody here that you're looking at as very attractive or, and this person is only coming towards you because of what you can do for them. This person is looking at somebody else who they were hooking up with. This could be like a jump off energy that they that they feel like is their person. This could be someone that's very attractive. Yeah, whatever new beginning that this person embarked on, it is coming to an end, literally, because they chose wrong. You're the empress. You embody the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles. You just showing up as a queen of pentacles so she could be a hustler. Male or female, you just about your money, your business, your bag. You have the death card that's here. And the empress, yeah, you took this leap of faith to free yourself, and that's exactly what you needed to do, divine feminine or divine masculine. And it's something about how this person, they thought they were going to have a new start, and it's over. What's the ace of wands? Whatever they thought they were going to do, that was God. They, this this even could have been someone that got married and committed to someone. This could have been a Virgo, or they they got involved with someone that could have been doing some type of energy work on them. They could have got they could have put they could have gotten some type of like commitment. What's the higher font? Like they could have gotten married or something here, and it blocked a lot of things. Yeah, to the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they, they didn't see that it was gonna block everything for them. It was hidden. This spiritual, it was hidden because they were looking at someone as like sex. The knight, the queen of the queen of wands, someone that's very attractive or someone that they thought was like better than what they had. Yeah. And now they want to apologize. You need to listen to your intuition. Literally, like this, this king of wands is coming back, but it's a choice. What's the emperor about? Somebody here even could have gotten pregnant. Yeah, they, they took action to get into a relationship with someone that they thought was going to bring them happiness. What's the two of cups? And they feel like it has brought them nothing but burdens. Whatever this relationship that they could have walked away towards to get in, it has been very hard, very difficult to even try to create the two of cups situation, a soulmate energy. Somebody here thought somebody was a soulmate, but it was like lust energy because that's why the Queen of Wands never popped out. Yeah, this person was listening to different people about which way they should go instead of listening to their own self. Because they had the, the strength and the willpower and the determination to choose right, but they could have been negatively influenced or they could have just chosen different. Yeah, you have the letter W that's here. You have a new luxury car that's coming in a Bentley, a Audi, a Porsche, a Benz, a BMW, or a Lambo. Somebody went towards a copycat. But you were the one, and they know this now. You were always the one, Gemini. But it was a group effort to try to get you away or to get this person away from you. Yeah, you don't have no more blocks, no more delays, no more holdups, Gemini. Something could be happening on Wednesday, tomorrow. Yeah, you have 333 is here. So there's there needs to be a balance between your mind, body, and soul. And there's a decision that needs to be made, Gemini. Yeah, someone's mother could be involved as well. This person could have gotten their mother involved. You also have to, yeah, not realizing that you are the empress. They definitely could have gotten a mother figure involved. 111 is here. So you're attracting in love, peace, money, abundance, and blessings, and you are most definitely an empath, which is why you were able to see past this person's illusion. Water energy is here too. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, you could be getting ready to meet a water sign with who you're meant to be in an all-inclusive relationship with. That's for someone here. Anything else that Gemini needs to know? Somebody's very mad, Gemini. Someone is pissed. You have an unexpected message or phone call that could be coming towards you, and it's someone that wants to pop up like magic. Be mindful, because this could be a drama starter. Okay, and this is also someone that could have a shortcut and deep ways that wants to come back towards you. Mm -hmm.
This person has an STD. <sighs> or a sexually transmitted demon attached to them. Which is why your spirit guides are saying no. This could be a Virgo. Because Virgo wants to pop out. <clears throat> they could have went towards a Virgo. There is a jealous karmic. Somebody is extremely jealous of you. Gemini. The next 48 hours, something's getting ready to happen. You could be needing to tell this person no. Um, the letter N could be significant. It will slip in my mind. You also have here weekend. Something could have happened over the weekend or someone here could be trying to see you over the, the next weekend. I didn't mean to shuffle like that. <laughs> you also have you are everything to this person. So you could be getting ready to meet someone. And you mean everything to them. Or this person could be coming towards you saying that you mean everything to them. Okay, somebody's family and friends were jealous of you. Which is why they did this. Or which is why they could have set this person up to try to lose you. Or try to set this person up to do something to make you walk away from them. Yeah, run and chase your energy. There was a lot of run and chase your energy here. You trying to give love to someone that could have been running away from love, I'm seeing. Yeah, you also have your physically, verbally abusive. Somebody here could have been physically or verbally abusive. Okay, your ops and your enemies, they are failing and they are being defeated at this time. Okay, you could also be getting ready to find out that you're pregnant. Someone could be finding out that they are pregnant. Congratulations. Okay, you also have here, don't be too quick to react when someone reaches out to you. This could be a father figure, someone that has children, or this could be someone that has tattoos. Who does Gemini need to stay away from? Who does Gemini need to stay away from? A fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy. This could even be a Libra. A Leo, a Pisces. Virgo. Pisces, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, y'all, I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, and I'll be seeing you on the next video.